Okay, hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how I scrap down transformers, which um, is something that I've done multiple times on this channel already, but I haven't really shown you how I exactly do it, and I am going to try to film the entire process of it so that you can um, really get an idea of how this is done. So, what we've got here uh, in front of me, this is just like your normal microwave appliance uh, transformer that you can find uh, like pretty much everywhere and um, I've got I got this one also from a customer of mine and um, yeah I always take these very gladly because they are very very easy to scrap down and that's why I wanted to show it to you today so um, what we are gonna do now is I'm gonna take my camera off of this camera holding thingy um, this tripod here and I'm gonna give you a little walk around this transformer and I'll show you uh, what I'm going to do now with this one because it's really like very very easy to scrap these down so um yeah let's just do that so as you can see this transformer has two welds on top this one and this one this one you should usually ignore because um, the problem with I just tipped over a bucket I'm sorry but um, the problem with this one is that this one uh, doesn't really do anything structural for the transformer it's just there to hold all the layers together that uh, the transformer steel is made out of this one is the important one because you can see or you can maybe not see I think like that you can see it uh, there's a little slit there like just the tiniest little gap um, in between this plate of transformer steel and this plate. And that means that this one can be just beaten apart with a hammer. And we are going to do that. Um, yeah, I'm probably just going to put you on a tripod again and put that into time lapse because, yeah, well, it's very loud. And, um, yeah, that's about it. And no one really likes that. So we are going to beat on this part here. And you're going to see this is just going to shear off like in the general direction of the floor <laughs> so um that's the best i can really explain that so one more issue that we might have with this transformer is that this has a, a plate on the bottom um that is usually not a big deal because it will just come off off of this little welding seam that is right there uh, so that it shouldn't really be an issue in, in theory but, um, well, that's the theory, and the theory isn't really that what usually happens when you try to take stuff apart. So, we are going to see how it goes. I'm going to try to beat it apart just by hitting it on that. Uh, we might have to take, like, some sort of, like, angle grinder, either, or maybe, like, like a saw, steel saw, we'll see. But um, we are going to get this apart somehow, and it should yield us a good bit of copper. And we are going to weigh that as well. So, yeah, let's get on with it. And would you look at that, it was so easy I didn't even have to put it into time-lapse. So you saw that in real time. That legit took like 15-20 seconds. Decent. They usually don't go this well, but this one was just really easy. And you could see that this just... It just broke on these these welds seems so easily. It's not really focusing on that, but I think you can imagine what that looks like. Um, so, yeah, that was very, very good. What we are now going to do is we are going to take some sort of metal thing. We have to put our, our vise to a position that um, this metal thingy, the core, fits through it, but the copper coils don't. And so that way we can just push this through. Uh, I can even try to do it like this. Yeah, you see, you get the point, right? You get the point. Um, it's moving. But obviously, yeah, okay. Nice, so <laughs> we got the first coil out, uh, that's very good, we're gonna weigh these coils later, but um, yeah, so this is just, it's very easy, like it's really, really simple, and there we go, there goes, there goes the center, I guess, so that was really, really simple, um, we've got these like, uh, these are steel, so these need to 
go into whatever steel bucket you've got laying around. And then you've got this main coil, which um, this one, and what you do with that, I would usually uh, prefer to take these paper thingies off uh, because it just makes it a little easier to sell at the scrapyard. And you have to obviously have to take this wire off as well. Um, yeah, so we are going to do that now and then we'll just see what we might have to do to the coils because they seem like they're cast into something. Uh, so we'll be right back. Okay, so I got this green coil all p uh, unpacked from this like a weird fiberglass paper that is around it. Um, you have to be really careful with things like that uh, because you obviously don't want to breathe that in. But um, you can see I, I am, took a chisel and chiseled out a little piece of this coil and um, it is indeed copper so I'm just going to send it as that. Uh, I knew that before because it was very heavy but... You know, they have to uh, see that it is copper at the scrapyard as well. So, um, yeah, that's all totally fine. That goes into the bucket, just like that. And, yeah, okay, we also obviously have to take this big piece of steel out of it and put that over here on the steel pile. Um, but besides that, you know, that was um, a very good thing. we got these two coils here. i take that out again. Um, I would say they weigh at least, like... Probably 750 grams, so that's pretty good. Um, you already saw the payout of this load of copper. That was the last video. But um, yeah, so that is pretty much it. That is how you take one of these apart. It's really easy. You can do a lot of it in a very short period of time. And um, so, yeah, I would definitely suggest you do that and not just sell these as staters or like transformers in this case. And um, yeah, get the most money that you can for your scrap. So I hope you liked this video in any way. Um, let me know if you want some more of these little like how-to videos uh, on this channel. And um, yeah, don't forget to give this video a little thumbs up and also comment something. I would really like that as well. And I would also really like it if you could subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss any other like little videos that I uh, post. So thank you very much for watching and until next time.